We're back and today it's for something that you've probably never thought of before. It's coffee and chicken wings. We're here today to honor a very special day, National Chicken Wing Day, which is celebrated every year on the 29th of July. This day is all about the love for chicken wings and this year we're putting a coffee infused spin on it. We're combining the robust wine-like flavors of our Ethiopian Yagashef coffee with the smoky heat of chili, all wrapped up in a sticky finger licking sauce. So good, so sticky. We're offering a 20% discount on your first order of this amazing coffee, just in time for National Chicken Wing Day. Check the description below for the discount code. Okay, here's for the spice rub. One tablespoon of Ethiopian Yergesha. Two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. One tablespoon of chili powder. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. One teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And half a teaspoon of thyme. Stir to combine. So here are the chicken wings. Mine have come pre-prepared, but if they don't, they'll look something like this. You just need to cut at the joint, cut off the wing tip, remove any feathers that are left on them and you'll be ready to go. I'm just gonna layer the bottom with some spice rub. Okay, so we're gonna add the chicken wings into the tray with the spice rub. We're using three pounds of chicken wings here. And then we're just gonna pour the rest of the spice rub over the chicken and rub that all in. Okay, it's all rubbed in, so time to get them on the grill. Do you want your grill to be about a medium heat? We're just gonna pop them on. You want that nice sizzle? Once they're all on, we're gonna leave them for 18 to 20 minutes or so, pop the lid down, and we'll go and make the sauce. For the sticky sauce, we're gonna need three tablespoons of coconut oil. You're just gonna let that melt in the pan. Now we're gonna add one shallot, and it wants to be very finely chopped so that it can mix through that sauce perfectly. Now that we've got the shallots cooking in the coconut oil, we're gonna add two tablespoons of grated ginger. Then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of sugar. It's gonna make the sauce nice and sticky. Half a cup of rice wine vinegar. This bit is dependent on what you prefer, so one to three tablespoons of sriracha. I'm gonna go with two tablespoons of sriracha. Now you've got all the ingredients, you can stir them together and then we're gonna crank the heat a little bit and let it simmer so that we get some stickiness. Don't forget to keep an eye on the chicken wings, turn them as and when you need. So now the sauce is done, we've achieved a really nice level of stickiness. You basically want it to coat the chicken wings. So it needs to be runny enough to do that, but sticky enough that it doesn't drip all over the place while you're eating it. Let's go and get the wings from the grill. So the internal temperature of cooked chicken is 165 Fahrenheit, which is about 74 degrees Celsius. So we're just gonna check. Gonna go for the biggest piece. Nice. Get that caramelization. Look at that, we got such a good char on them on the barbecue. Loads of good flavor. So leaving the pan on a medium heat, we're gonna take the chicken wings from the barbecue, pop them in the sauce, give them a really good coating. So once you have all the chicken wings really nicely coated, you're gonna arrange them on your platter. Okay, you're gonna have lots of leftover sauce in the pans. You can just scoop it over. Now it's time to garnish with coriander or cilantro, depending on where you're from. And there we go, there's our sticky Volcanica Coffee chili chicken wings. Smells really good. Let's see what it tastes like. So good, so sticky. It does taste like coffee. It's very spicy, but it's very good. As always, the recipe is in the description. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. Happy National Chicken Wing Day.